Hey there, uh, this video is a lot later than it should be, but you'll probably understand the reason if you've seen the uh, most recent video over on our main channel. I, I assume everyone watching this, like, knows about the main channel? This must be a very confusing series if you don't. So yeah, the reason this video was so late is that all I painted since the last video was most of the Ultramarines you saw in the first part of the main channel's 40k subscriber special. So I couldn't really release this before that video was done, and even then it puts me in the awkward position of having to essentially talk about the same group of models twice. But I am a professional, technically, so I shall soldier on and hopefully entertain you in the process. Okay, first up we have the Captain. He's made from a combination of Tactical Squad, Mark IV Squad, and Leftover Lieutenant Calcius parts. He was my token, has a loadout not legal in the current game model, since these were made to play 2nd edition with. Although technically I suppose you could just give a modern Captain a combi melter and it'd be a slightly better version of this, but you couldn't do it in 2nd ed, so this is just how he is. If you're wondering about the yellow helmet stripe, that's there since A, I just really like marines with striped helmets, and B, because a vertical yellow stripe is listed as part of the second company's iconography in the second ed codex, even if it doesn't really come up much these days. Also, it was fun to bust out a stripey helmet crest. I've not done one of those before, so it was kind of neat. As for the rest of the squad, or at least the six of them I painted during this time period, they were painted in the same style, being a rough approximation of the 2nd edition Ultramarine's second company paint scheme. So red weapon casings, yellow shoulder rims rather than gold, and of course, goblin green bases. Well, not actually goblin green bases since they haven't made that paint in years, but the nearest modern equivalent. And yes, I know you can still get goblin green from other companies, it, it, it's fine, I know. The only major departure is that I used the modern McCrag blue, which ended up being a fair bit darker than the old Ultramarines blue. In all honesty, quite a bit more than I originally thought, um, but it's fine, it does the job. Again, these use parts from the regular Tactical Squad kit, with the special weapons taken from the Mark IV kit. Since although they're based on the Rogue Trader era weapons rather than the second edition era weapons, I thought they still conveyed the right kind of vibe, even if they're not technically correct. The other big thing on these is that once I decided I wanted to do Ultras for this project, I realised that I couldn't really freehand their chapter icon. Well, I, I could, but it's the kind of shape that would be a nightmare to paint consistently. For me, anyway, I'm, I'm sure some people out there can do it, but I'm sure they're busy driving sports cars and kissing people on the mouth, and frankly I didn't have the time. Regardless, I knew that because I didn't want to paint them, I'd have to go with water slide transfers, and that's something you might have noticed that I never ever use, on account of them being terrible and fiddly and terrible and I hate them. However, over the years people have said a lot of good things about what you can do with the micro set and micro sol solutions, so I bit the bullet and got them. And yeah, they just kind of work. They soften the decal in ways that both remove the obvious film around the edge of them and allow it to smoothly fit around complex shapes, or just the domed shape of a marine shoulder pad. The process is still very fiddly, but at least the end result is pretty good. Honestly, given how long GW has put out kits with water slide transfers in them, I'm surprised they've never made their own version of this stuff. And if, like me, you wondered what the difference between these two bottles actually is specifically, I don't really know, um, but they both smell terrible in very different ways, so make of that what you will. But yeah, that's some Ultramarines. Never thought I'd paint any of those, but well, we live in interesting times. Anyway, all that means that during the period of September and October, I painted 7 models, which brings my 2021 total up to 46 models painted and 30 models bought. I would have liked to have gotten a lot more done in the time period, but to be perfectly honest, I was feeling a little burnt out with painting, and my October was busy as all hell, so I wasn't really able to put as much time into it as I'd like anyway. But oh well, that's just life. It happens sometimes. Sorry there's no pictures of your minis at the end of this video, It's it's been a bit of a time over here and I just haven't had the headspace to sort that whole extra thing out on the end, so um, yeah, sorry, um, they'll be back for the next video, I promise. Oh yeah, the next video will be the, the last 2021 log. Jesus. So, uh, see you then.